London is renowned for being one of the best cities in the UK for vegans. So we thought we'd bring you the top seven vegan meals from Brighton. Be warned, some of these meals will blow your mind. Brighton is located in the southeast of England. It is home to one of the largest populations of vegans in Great Britain. There is everything from vegan fine dining to fast food, pizza and sushi. There are even a number of all vegan pubs to choose from. So here are our top seven vegan meals in Brighton. No trip to Brighton would be complete without a visit to Glazed. It's a little cafe opposite a skate park and it's got a real skate vibe to it. But the best part of it is that they sell 100% vegan donuts. So we'll go for a, a veggie and a biscuit off that, please. This is the Veggio Nutella. So here we go. It's a very Nutella y donut. It's amazing. It's the Biscoff one and it's my favourite. So all the donuts made in the house? Yeah, the donuts are made in the house. We make the donut evenings and then the donuts in the house. Excellent. So fresh every day? Yeah. Every day. <laughs> that was amazing. I have got the donut sweats from that, um, but it was totally worth it. If you're if you're in Brighton and you want vegan donuts, then you have to go to Glaze. They are beautiful. Next up, we have to go and get some vegan sushi. <laughs> A vegan sushi burrito before? Well I hadn't until I came to Happy Maki. It's Brighton's very first vegan sushi place. Our most popular wraps are the hoisin duck and willy loaded. All our menu is vegan so the chicken and duck in the wraps are made of soy protein and they are delicious. So the fully loaded and the hoisin duck is what we will order. Before we get stuck into the sushi, I just wanted to show you, this is the side, it's the popcorn cauliflower. Look at that. Cauliflower when it's sort of deep fried, resembles sort of like uh, fried chicken. Covered in a spicy coconut sauce, it's absolutely delicious. This is the hoisin duck sushi burrito, just absolutely fantastic. So, here we go. It's got those lovely oriental duck flavours in there. That is a cracking bit of food. Okay, so this is the fully loaded. Look at that. What else could you want? I mean, let's have a quick bite and I'll tell you how good this is. That is lovely. They're both absolutely delicious. Next up on the list is what the pitta. It's a 100% vegan kebab place and it's only just moved into Brighton but it's been so successful and it is one of our favourite places to eat in Brighton. It is awesome so let's go and try some. The vegan donut, which is a wrap, fresh on the day. Homemade hummus, homemade tzatziki, homemade pizza yes. breads. There is also the the chip box. Excellent. Yes. I think we'll go for one of each of those. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for one of each. Oh, the most yeah, popular one. We're going to go for it.
the best things about what the pizza is not only how it tastes, but it's how absolutely loaded everything that they serve is. It's the heaviest thing you can buy in Brighton for eight quid. This is the Donna chip box and it's got the Donna meats, um, pickles, it's got salad, it's got homemade um, hummus and homemade katsu and chips. So I forgot to mention there are chips under there somewhere. Here goes. Lovely and crispy. This is Alessio. Alessio? Yeah. Alessio, he's the manager of the Water yeah. Pit of Brighton. Has it been busy since you've opened? Well, yeah. I remember the first day was really, really crazy. There was a queue. I, mean, I think I remember that. There was a queue all the way down the street when they first opened, which was which is brilliant. And brilliant! That was freaking <laughs> stupendous. Absolutely mind blowingly good. Well, I am suitably stuffed, so we're going to go and hit the beach for a little bit now. Chill out and try and work up an appetite for the next place that we're going to visit. Next up, we're going to probably one of the most fancy restaurants on our list, Terra Terre, for a vegan afternoon tea. So we're starting off with a glass of something fizzy. Cheers. Cheers. So here's the afternoon tea menu, and here's the vegan section. Everything's either vegetarian or vegan, but pretty much everything can be made vegan. Such a lovely day outside, and this patio area is gorgeous, so we decided to move tables and come out here for our afternoon tea instead. fried cauliflower with kimchi, also known as the KFC. This smells and looks amazing. This is the steamed bun with Szechuan marinated tofu and kimchi and it is absolutely gorgeous. The flavours in this are incredible. Lenta cake with clementine sorbet and these little aquafaba macarons. That's very nice. The macaron. <coughs> of chocolate truffle cake, chocolate truffles and this gorgeous milkshake as well. I think the thing about Terra Terra is that uh, you'll be trying foods and flavours and textures put together like you've never had before. It's not a challenge for the taste, but it's an adventure. Everyone should try it because we're so used to having the same stuff sort of all the time. Places like this are the only time where you get to try something different, and that's what it's all about. A homemade fruit scones, vanilla and strawberry homemade jam, which I think they sell here as well, and to top it off with their lime and coconut cream yogurt. was absolutely delicious. My God, those scones. You missed Janine and I arguing over if you go jam first or cream first, but regardless, it was absolutely incredible. And I know it's a fine dining place, but it's so worth it for the effort that they put into the flavors and the textures and everything. So do yourself a favor and go to Terra Terra because that was an experience and a half. Next, we're going to somewhere that this is more 
of a side, but um, it counts. It's going to count as a meal on this list because it's just so freaking good. Everybody in Brighton knows this place. Um, it's got legendary status, and this dish is by far their best. Meals about probably the best vegan dish junk food I've ever in Brighton. Cheers. This is the Hope and Ruin, and the pub is called the Hope and Ruin, but within the pub is Beelzebub. This is Beelzebub here. I've ordered the Penguins poppers, they're chicken style poppers, and they have a special sauce with them. Um, we've also gone for the, what are they called? Peanut butter jelly fries. Um, so they're fries loaded with peanut satay and a raspberry chili jam. Behold, the filthiest food, vegan food in Brighton. Vegan junk food does not come better than this. That's a special sauce. They're not telling us what's in it, but um, it tastes divine. They're like little pieces of KFC. Peanut sauce, Thai satay sauce, chilli jam. It works, it does. It sounds strange, but it works. Oh, it's so good. Vegan KFC, peanut butter and jam on fries. Job done. It's Sunday, and what do you do on a Sunday? You go for a vegan roast. Cheers. Cheers. So we've ordered the mint seitan lamb with tender stem broccoli, roast potatoes, uh, maple glazed parsnips, roasted carrots, braised red cabbage, cauliflower cheese, Yorkshire pudding, and dew, which is a fancy name for gravy. Uh, I know they've got uh, mint seitan lamb on the menu, but I am most excited about the Yorkshire pudding because it's a bit of a holy grail in the vegan world, finding vegan Yorkshire puddings. The supermarkets don't stock them and uh, there's a game to it, there's an art form to it, so we're gonna, we're gonna really put some judgment on their Yorkshire puddings. That looks good, that looks really good. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely righteous looking Yorkshire pudding. That's the one thing that we're almost the most excited about here is the Yorkshire pudding. Some incredible looking crispy roast potatoes, lots of them. Carrots, cauliflower cheese. You know it's 2019 when you can get vegan minted lamb from a pub. Look at this bit. It's crispy and chewy and it just looks awesome. And check it out, vegan cauliflower cheese. What more could you want? That is so nice. Mm. Okay, Yorkshire pudding test. Out of five, here we go. Taste. Look, crispiness. Oh, go on, I give him a five. And for dessert, we've ordered a vegan brownie. It would be rude not to, really. Hot chocolate fudge brownie, hot chocolate sauce, and vanilla ice cream. I don't think I'm going to share this.
that was by far, and I'm not just saying this because for this video, the best Sunday roast, vegan Sunday roast, I've ever had. And that includes Christmas dinners and everything like that. That was incredible. Next up, we're going to the UK's first all vegan pizzeria. They also won the UK's best pizza last year. We're off to Purezza for some authentic Italian pizza, vegan style. popular, most best-selling, and we've had it before, and it's incredible. Here comes the truffle pizza, and on there is, it's a black truffle base with mozzarella, vegan mozzarella, but everything's vegan, wood smoked tofu, mixed wild forest mushrooms, and finished with micro herbs. How amazing does that sound? And also on the side, we're gonna get a mac and cheese, courgette spaghetti. We cannot wait. <laughs> places where if they forgot to put the toppings on it it wouldn't be so bad because the base is so freaking good definitely one of the best pizzas I've ever had and we've been to Italy as well that is up there That is the die for. We always say this. That potentially is one of the best vegan desserts in the whole of Brighton. And I really mean that. We had courgette spaghetti with pesto, mac and cheese, a huge truffle pizza, and uh, a raw cashew tiramisu. I am absolutely stuffed, but one of the best eating experiences in Brighton by a mile. It's so good. Okay, welcome to the bonus section of this video. I don't know if you remember, we went to Glazed. It was one of our, I can't remember what number it was, and they had those amazing vegan donuts. Well, whilst we were there, we discovered that they've got donut burgers. So we didn't include it in the top list, but we thought we'd add on a little extra bonus and go and see what it's like. Let's go. Oh yeah, I've already ordered it. <laughs> the smell of donuts in here is so good. So, so we got green kitchen bacon, buy uh, like cheese and moving mountain, mountain burger in glazed donut. It's maple syrup. So that is a glazed donut, a moving mountains burger, green kitchen bacon, maple syrup in a donut obviously. That's a donut burger. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, for chocolate and then this comes like that. That is one of the nicest burgers ever. It's very sweet, but look, it actually works. Very, very, very good. What was your favourite looking meal from our list? Please leave a comment, like the video and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell, it really helps us produce more videos just like this one.